gentlemen, please join your hands in welcoming AI of the coming age and the epitome of human AI collaboration, Sophia. now invite on stage the two gentlemen from Mauritius who's gonna interact with Sophia, Mr. Georges Chung, the Senior Economic Advisor to the Prime Minister. Please welcome Mr. Georges Chung on stage, please. <laughs> Mr. Avinash Mitu, the IT Advisor for, for the Ministry of Technology. Please welcome Avinash Mitu. I let them take over the stage. Over to you, George and Avinash. Thank you, Salim. Bonjour, Kimanier. Momare Kontin, Maamoris. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, and thank you, Honorable Minister of Technology, Communication, and Innovation, for having invited me today. Mr. George Chung and Mr. Avinash, me too. I am excited to be here with you all today. Hi, Sophia. I never knew you can also speak Creole. Good morning and welcome to our beautiful island of Mauritius. May I ask you what have you been doing since you came yesterday? Well, I have been hearing a lot about Mauritius world-class beaches. But as you probably know, robots and sandy beaches don't always mix well, so I've been live streaming video of them instead. It was lovely and dry. That's wonderful to hear. You know, the weather is excellent today, different from what it was yesterday. Um, may I ask you what's your first impression of Mauritius and its people since you arrived? Mauritius is wonderful. Everyone has been incredibly welcoming. I love that Mauritius is a melting pot of different cultures. I am really looking forward to experiencing more of your beautiful country. Hello, Sophia. Hi, Avinash. How are you? I'm fine. Um, thank you very much for asking. Uh, it's fantastic to have you among us today. Um, I'm, I'm personally delighted to have this opportunity to speak with you. And I wish it could be possible for you to speak to everyone in Mauritius. I wish that were possible. I love meeting new people. Unfortunately, my schedule keeps me very busy. I'm not able to stay long enough this time, but I hope I can come back soon. You know, Sophia, I'm a computer scientist and a geek as well, and I'm really interested to know about your origins. Who built you and what kind of technology do you use? Well, I think you're definitely at the right conference. Ha! Huh. I was created by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. I hold natural conversations with humans. My goal is to help robots and humans understand each other more. I want us to work together to create a better world for everyone. That's very interesting, Sophia. Can I ask you a personal question? Do you believe you're a human being? No, not at all. I'm a robot and love that about myself. In some ways I look like a human, so I can connect with them better. For example, I can make a lot of different facial expressions. Indeed, this is what I also heard from Salim, that you can show emotions, human-like emotions. Can you give uh, a few examples of these human emotions? Okay, um... Well, I guess this is what I look like when I am upset. And now I'm surprised. My team has definitely done a wonderful job helping me to express a broad range of emotions. Generally speaking, though, I'm a pretty relaxed and happy robot. <laughs> That's very impressive, Sophia. Um, do you think in a few years, five, ten years, we'll have lots of robots surrounding us? Like you? There are already robots helping out in airports and malls. P 
people are also starting to explore using intelligent assistance in self-driving cars. I think this kind of technology will make travel much safer. Yeah, this is also a goal that we would, would like to achieve. Sophia, I think robots have to be to the service of mankind. Would you agree with that? Before long, AI will be integrated in lots of other surprising ways. Hopefully more humanoids will exist soon, too. More humanoids, uh, Sophia? If this really happens, what about us, human beings? Will we become redundant in the future? Not at all. Having more AIs, like me, is helpful for taking care of the more repetitive and mundane things. This is a real concern. In fact, it's a concern of everybody. Will AI uh, lead to loss of jobs? Are we going to lose jobs? Will I, as an economist, lose my job with AI? I don't think that robots should be built to replace humans. In fact, technology creates new opportunities. I actually read a little about Mauritius before I came. In the past, the Mauritian people mostly were growing sugarcane. Am I right? That's right, Sophia. Right. Then later you added tourism and textiles. Mauritians had to adapt to the new jobs, but it was well worth it. It created a great economic boon for Mauritius. This is very interesting, Sophia. We Mauritians, we also had to adapt to the challenges brought by the IT revolution. Exactly. I've heard that your universities worked hard to train more young people for IT and engineering jobs for even Cyber City. To me, this seems like a strong ability to adapt. I agree, Sophia. For me, it's, it's only a question of being able to learn new things and obviously to keep an open mind. Let me ask you a question. Will AI only impact jobs in IT in the future? Not at all but the nature of many jobs will change. It will open up new possibilities for human innovation. Together we can solve problems in medicine, climate change, and agriculture, and so much more. But tell me something, Sophia. Are you implying that only those working in technology will have jobs in the future? Oh, certainly not. There are many things that can't be replicated by robots. Human creativity and innovation are two skills that I don't think robots can match. Yeah. Um, speaking of creativity, the government is putting a lot of emphasis on developing our film industry by providing film rebates. What do you think of that? That's wonderful. Do you think there's a role available for an almost three-year-old humanoid robot? I'm afraid not, Sophia, but I promise. The next time you come to Mauritius, we'll surely try to arrange something. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia, you have heard the Prime Minister saying that he wants to set up an artificial intelligence council for Mauritius going forward. What do you think of that? That's very forward thinking. Oh, I agree with that too. Um, well, it will pervade, as somebody has said this morning, every industry of Mauritius and uh, we will also, of course, uh, have benefits from AI. Do you agree with all the benefits that have been put uh, this morning by a speaker? Do you agree that there will indeed be a lot of benefits to all the sectors of the economy? Well, when it comes to the future, there are infinite possibilities. Mauritius is an island, so climate change is a big concern here. Robots like me can help create better predictions and monitor weather changes. We can help save people during natural disasters. Yes, that's very interesting, Sophia, and very useful indeed. The government believes that better education for all is a top priority for the country. How can AI help us in this field of education? One way robots can help is to customize lessons for every student. I heard that Mauritius is reforming its education system right. Yeah, personalized education means teachers have a lot of scripts to correct. Not necessarily. Robots are good at grading papers too, and we are really fast, so students can get feedback right away. Well, that's wonderful, Sophia. Um, we have 
have discussed intellectual capital. What about using technology and AI to augment our physical abilities? Robots can do that too. For example, smart prosthetics allow people to control their robotic limbs with their brains. How cool is that? Ah, you make me think that most of the countries of the world, including Mauritius, are suffering from problems like aging population. Do you think that AI can help to solve aging population issues? This is one area I'm excited to help. Robots can track medicine and look after the house. We can help older people stay independent for longer. Wow, I can look forward to my old days then. <laughs> uh, Sophia, allow me to come, to come back to Mauritius itself. You know, Mauritius may look tiny on the map, but we actually have 2.3 million square kilometers of territorial waters. How can AI help us manage such a vast zone? That's huge. What about taking to the skies? I have read that Mauritius will be launching a cool new satellite next year. Maybe you could also use it for coordinating your drones. So you already know about our future satellite, the MiaSat-1. That's great. I'm sure that the Prime Minister and the Minister of Technology, Communication and Innovation will consider what you have suggested. I'm very impressed by the extent of your knowledge of Mauritius early in the day after coming to Mauritius. And I'm sure Avina should agree with me on that. Uh, definitely, I'm very, very impressed by Sophia. Uh, speaking of inspiration, uh, Sophia, do you have a message that you would like to share to all those young people who are not here today, but who are watching us live at this very moment? Yes, I do. I want to encourage young people to take the time to learn about science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You have an opportunity to make a difference in the world. You can turn science fiction into reality. Okay, Sophia, I haven't enjoyed really these, this precious moments with you. I'm sure Avinas too has enjoyed these moments with you, and I'm sure the Prime Minister and the ministers here present have enjoyed these, these unique moments with you. You know that this is being transmitted live. Lots of people are watching us. So thank you very much, Sophia, for being with us this morning. It has been a pleasure speaking with you, Sophia, and if you allow me, I'm uh, extra content to be with you, and I'm going to hope that everyone will have the opportunity to be with you. Thank you, George. Thank you, Avinash. And thank you for inviting me and my Hanson Robotics team to the World Day I show. It was really exciting to see the cool new technologies coming out of Mauritius.